what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i just decided to do a couple of episodes for the walking dead today i'm not really feeling up to it to really do reactions um today after what happened this morning if you have not seen i mean you guys probably don't watch my demon slayer reactions anyways but i feel a little bit better now um you know i was angry about something this morning you know um and it I think I portrayed it very poorly on that video, but I still put out the video, still put out the intro and the review anyways, because, um, I didn't like what was happening and it wasn't, it wasn't my fault. And I ended up, um, getting into an argument that I didn't want to get into at the time and it just spoiled my vibes for the day. But here we are hours later, um, these people are out of my house and now I can do my reactions. Okay. So. I know um, there's other series that I could um, things that I could watch, guys. So I just want you I just want you guys to know that that is other stuff that I other stuff that I have to do. Um, I am enjoying watching this, but there's other things that other people enjoy watching my reaction to. So I have to make sure those things are out too. I can't just put out the walking dead the walking dead the walking dead i know a lot of you guys have been asking when is the next one gonna come you hop on other videos mind you i have no problem with you guys doing that but you know as i said i don't i don't have a problem with you guys doing that what i do have a problem with you spamming it on every vi every video i put out <laughs> like every video i put out like i know you're just asking to get an answer but a lot of times i can't give you an answer because i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I'm not on a schedule per se. It's what I feel like watching. I watch over here. Um, when things get back to normal, we'll be on a schedule again. But at this time, I can't. I'm trying to have a balance of what we're watching on the channel. So I'll put out a certain amount of episodes. I mean, literally, I'm giving you guys double, triple, quadruple, quintuple <laughs> um, uploads of The Walking Dead. Like, what more do you want? <laughs> At this point, I think I did, I think, what, I did one episode the last time just because I was just trying to squeeze in one at the end of the day that I was reacting, okay? So, um, I'm going to try to do two episodes here, but as I said, the only reason why I do double, triple uploads is if I'm enjoying what I'm watching. If I'm enjoying and I'm sucked into that first episode, I might do two if two is fire, then I'll do three. And that only goes for The Walking Dead because Vikings is trash right now. But, um, so yeah, I see a lot of you guys showing love on the Sons of Anarchy. And I really do appreciate that. We just started. If you have that, seen my reaction to that. If you have seen the show before and you want to go check those reactions out, make sure you go and check those out after you leave here. Okay, so thank you guys so much for all the support. I know that you guys are super enthusiastic to see my reactions, and I really do appreciate you guys for showing up and to click on these videos. But I also need you guys to watch the reviews and not just watch the reactions, okay? Because y'all are asking for all this. Y'all want me to upload The Walking Dead every day? Leave a like on the damn video. How about that? <laughs> Leave a like on the video and watch my reviews. Because I know a lot of you guys that are out there, you're not watching my reviews. Okay? I know because I see the watch time. Okay? I see the watch time on my Walking Dead videos. You guys are demanding that I watch the reaction, but y'all not interacting with my videos on YouTube, man. Come on, bro. Some tit for tat here. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it, man. Let's go watch episode, what, 12, I think? Yes, episode 12. So I'll see you guys for the review. All right, so as I said, I wasn't going to even do The Walking Dead today, but because I wanted to kind of cheer myself up about everything that was going on, personal problems at home, you know, I just decided to do it. There is no set time for The Walking Dead, just no set time for it. Um, there's no set time for anything on the channel, really. I'm just kicking it right now, whatever I feel like reacting to, but I'm going to try to do all the show and keep and keep a balance, but I can't tell you, oh, I'm going to do The Walking Dead tomorrow. Like, that's the reason why I didn't really um, answer your comments on 
um, with YouTube. So um, let's talk about these two episodes, man. These two episodes were well written, well done. The acting was superb. I mean, I didn't even want to do a second episode because of how because of how episode 12 ended. I was so afraid that there was going to be a, a big death happening in episode 13. But we didn't get that, so everybody is back together. Apparently, they were close, so they got back to Carol and Maggie before anything could happen, right? So that was cool. Now, I'm, the conflict, I talked about a lot of the stuff that's happening during the episodes. I hope you guys don't mind that I pause and I talk, you know, a minute, two minutes, three minutes even, just to get my point across because I don't want to be misrepresented in what I'm trying to say. So I try to articulate my point to the point as much as possible but I still don't want to leave anything unfinished because I've had this problem in the past on this channel where people misunderstand stuff that I say during a reaction and then they come at me for it which everything is opinion based it's my opinion on stuff that doesn't mean you have to live that life that don't mean you have to have that moral standing it doesn't mean that you have to have the same opinion you know it's just that when people come at me about what I say and then they misquote or misunderstand what I was trying to get across, you know, I feel like I didn't spend enough time explaining what I wanted to get across. So I try to, you know, explain it as to the best of my ability. Let's put it like that, to the best of my ability. So I don't want you guys to feel like, you know, I'm pausing too much or whatever. That's what I do over here. I just, I don't do it as often as I used to because when I just started reacting, it's when Game of Thrones and Rome and all of those earlier reactions, I used to pause a lot. I used to pause a lot, you know, and, you know, I used to get those comments. But now I've really like calmed down on that and every now and then you'll get an episode where I pause a lot but it doesn't happen often so um so the points I was trying to get across with the the, the whole thing about when Morgan was against the whole thing Morgan stands for something different now you know what I'm saying and the thing about it is this you can see that people are actually kind of changing but they don't want to admit that they're changing. It's the same thing with Carol. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm expecting the badass Carol to come out. But she didn't really come out. She kind of still was timid, giving people a choice. She gave whatever her name is. She gave her a choice. You get what I'm saying? I didn't even know that these people were going to die in the very episode we get to meet them. We were literally on the show for one episode. So, I didn't expect that. I thought... them. The, the, the backup was going to come and that was going to cause problems for them and that's how the rest of the season was going to carry on but no they wrapped this shit up in two episodes it was, it's like okay but there's still the issue of Negan right <sighs> there's still the issue of Negan man they're organized like a mug bro they are organized and they know that part of the place so well too it's crazy. They know the place very well. So um, I'm like, man, I think they're going to find out. I'm still worried about Negan. I, I, I don't know, man. If they're all Negan, if they're all Negan, is that really a problem? They're still so organized that they are to be feared. They still don't know how many of how many camps they have. Apparently, she it looks like she was the one that was in charge of that camp that they had there at the... T I think that's a TV station. It's either a TV station or usually it's usually very like broadcast stations that have them big ass satellites. It's either that or it's maybe a, a, a miniature um, military base. It could be. I don't know. I don't know. It more looked... It looked like somewhere of high security though still so i don't know if they're gonna take that stuff to where they you know take it 
and go or they're gonna set up camp there too wouldn't make sense for them to set up camp there because they don't really know but they do know where hilltop is so they could go to hilltop and raid and find and you know somebody might tell them where rick and them is, is staying at even though jesus is the only one that really knows where rick them is at at alexandria jesus is the only one that knows so the conflict just keeps going the conflict keeps going and i believe this is not the end of this thing it, it's just it still seemed way too easy this is a battle they won this battle but i don't think they've won this war i don't think they've won this war why would they only call two people for backup that's another thing too why only two guys came as backup that's you tell them hey um our home has been compromised you send two dudes two dudes came as backup or maybe they were just the closest one there but i don't think this battle is over. i don't think the war is over but i think they've won this battle and you know i'm glad we didn't lose anybody but man oh man my favorite moment of these two episodes i didn't think i would ever say this in the history of the walking dead but my favorite moment was with pastor gabriel killing that guy pastor gabriel has really stepped up just for that one moment of quoting that scripture that I know so very well. Oh my God. I know that scripture so very well, man. And it's actually one of my favorite scriptures too, but it is what it is. I want to get into religious stuff. But that scripture is very well known in, you know, Christian community. It's very well known. Um, songs have been made with that scripture in it. It's just a well-known scripture. So for him to quote that and then kill the dude <laughs> was epic. It was epic stuff. <laughs> I don't know why why I'm saying this. <laughs> it's the best because it goes against everything that you believe to be Christian. But hey, man, it was just an epic moment. The way how he acted, the way how he did it, the acting moment. That they gave him there the words that were spoken everything was just on point you know and then they're saying they're all negan so there's that also so man these were a good couple of episodes everybody everybody that went seemed to have some sort of conflict except i want to say maybe rick um and abraham i think everybody just has this this conflict of I didn't even know that Rick, this, I cannot, this camera, man, this camera, anytime it gets to certain times in the day, it just starts showing, you see how wide I get it in blue, it's just weird, like the color correction that happens with the camera when it's out of focus, it's just so weird because of the lighting in the room, um, you know, so that was just, um, so yeah, man, everybody having that con that conflict really says something profound about this series that I that I really like. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not just about killing walkers or killing each other. There's this moral conflict that's still going on because it's still your humanity fighting against living in a, in a, in an apocalyptic time, right? So you have that issue. You you gonna think about these things. Maggie has a baby she wants to have and raise. Carol, you know what I'm saying? I think Morgan words kind of got to her. And I think she's really rethinking like the amount of people that she's killed and all of this other stuff. And you know what I'm saying? It's getting to them, man. I don't, I don't think it's gonna make them weak. I think it's probably gonna make them stronger in the end, you know, but we will see. I'm glad to see that everybody came out of this unscathed, but we're still we still have three episodes to go for this season. So there's that. You now I'm saying plenty of shit can happen. You guys told me that um you guys told me that I have to do the final the final episode and episode 1 of season 7 together. So I will I will try and do I'm going to do two next and then I'll do those two together, okay? So um, usually I would have just done the three to finish up the season, but I'm going to do two and then I'll do that other two the other time. I know it's going to be like blue balling myself and y'all, but if you want to, I'm not going to do those, 
I don't wanna, I'm not going to do those. Four. I can't promise you I'm going to do those four together. So I'm going to go in expecting to do two. If it's fire, then I'll do the four, but I can't promise you that I'm going to do four. So expect two. Okay, so just expect episode 14 and 15, and then we'll do 16, and then season 7, episode 1. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. If you watch this review, please leave a like. I don't know what you're doing with yourself. If you don't appreciate what I do, what else? that's the way you show appreciation, man. Leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you're new, because I'm enjoying this right now. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.